All right. Well, let's go from Aunt Lola to something from the news, Jim. Have you been following the debate about Taco Tuesday? I un unfortunately have not. I don't do tacos on Tuesday. I do fish on Fridays sometimes. I like steak on Saturdays. They don't have a B day, so I just go burgers any old time, and I just call it wild card I have an article here from the Washington Post. Taco Bell wants a rival to give up its Taco Tuesday trademark. To deprive anyone of saying Taco Tuesday is like depriving the world of sunshine itself, Taco Bell asserted. Odds are you've celebrated a Taco Tuesday. It's a tried and true tradition. Tacos being rolled on the day of the week that, when written besides the dish, rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Taco Tuesdays are held at restaurants across the country. They're hosted at college dining halls. They make frequent appearances in family dinner rotations. But, for more than 30 years, the phrase Taco Tuesday has been owned by a Wyoming-based Tex-Mex food chain. Fast food chain, excuse me. Taco John's, which has more than 370 restaurants across the country. I don't know if I'd use the word restaurants for any of these people. Has an active trademark on the phrase in 49 states that dates back to 1989 after a franchise coined and popularized the moniker for its brand. Well, who's the, the brand. Odd, who's the odd duck state? It does not say. Pricks. Uh... Well, let me move down here. Taco Bell believes Taco Tuesday is critical to everyone's Tuesday. Oh, excuse me, well, Tuesday. Taco Bell filed a petition to cancel the trademark, saying the phrase should belong to all who make, sell, eat, and celebrate tacos. To deprive... Well, I, I think the same way about the Star Wars trilogy. Let's just open that up. I'd like to sell some of those, too. You hate Star Wars. Yeah, but I'll make money off of it. Taco Bell believes Taco Tuesday is critical to everyone's Tuesday. The company's <laughs> petition to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office said, to deprive anyone of saying Taco Tuesday, be it Taco Bell or anyone who provides tacos to the world, is like depriving the world of sunshine itself. Taco Bell also filed a second petition to cancel the Taco Tuesday trademark owned by the restaurant Gregory's in New Jersey the lone state where Taco John's trademark does not apply. Bingo! There you go. It so, had to be Jersey. Let's talk a little bit about this. Taco John's has a trademark for Taco Tuesday. It's a phrase that most people probably don't realize is trademarked. Feels like it's just part of the environment now. Should it continue to be trademarked, or is it too big a phrase to be trademarked, and should Taco Bell be able What's to... That? Proceed okay, but hold, hold on. Is old Taco John over there, is he, is he going down the street saying, hey, all of y'all, all, you, Mr. and Mrs. Dumbfuck, and all the little dumb fucks playing in the yard, don't say Taco Tuesday, we got it trademarked. Or is it just that Taco Bell is mad that somebody else beat him to it and they can't trademark it? Is that, isn't that what we're really talking about here? Because um, they're not saying fans civilians people of of the taco persuasion that like to eat tacos they're not saying that they can't say taco tuesday they're just saying another purveyor of tacos cannot tantalize their customers with taco tuesday because old taco john trademarked it that's the way i'm looking at this thing, and I, I'm on their side, old Taco John. Fuck Taco Bell, because here's for one thing. <laughs> Will you eat anything that comes out of a Taco Bell? It depends on what time of day. Except, and... I, except maybe a, a hot blonde between 25 and 30 years old, but I'm talking about the food. Will you eat anything that comes out of a Taco Bell? If you will, you're a braver man than I. You got great gut health, and you're going to need it. <laughs> Stacy, every once in a while, will get an urge for some one of the fucking little rolled up things that they sell at that place. Tacos? You mean the soft tacos? No, I don't know what it is. One of the, there's tacos and there's, what do they have? The goddamn wrap? They basically, they take multiple kinds of 
carbs and bread, either shells or wraps or tortillas, and they wrap up a bunch of wilted lettuce, cheaply chopped vegetables, and the most putrid strain of Dalmatian meat, and not very much of it, and they uh, apparently fire some liquid heartburn in there and then hand it out to you. It, you're just eating, a, it's like eating a rolled up sandwich, or a rolled up handkerchief. So the point is... So you've been there. I've seen her, yes. And I've had. A, I've tried to take a bite of... She said, well, this is chicken. Not that I can fucking find. It's a goddamn nasty baby's diaper with some shit in it that may have been chicken flavored. I don't know. But the point is, if the taco is being represented by anybody, it shouldn't be Taco Bell because even... Isn't that like... The same thing with with Italian people and Pizza Hut is that real Mexican people do not like Taco Bell because it's caca food and it's not really legitimate Mexican. I've had real Mexican tacos and fajitas and there was this great Mexican restaurant we went to in Florida, WrestleMania weekend and when I was down there for Ring of Honor in 2012. We went there three nights in a row. Love that. Had the fish tacos we... Took the boat to Cozumel. Loved those. I wouldn't fucking eat Taco Bell at this point at gunpoint. And there have been two fast food restaurants in all of history that I just refused to even eat anything from, and that's Crystal. Or excuse me. See, I've yeah, still got. See, you can't even eat that. I've still got goddamn heartburn. <laughs> Crystal and uh, and Taco Bell. It's just worthless. You could do White Castle. Oh, yeah. Every, every once in a while. Now, I did it not long ago because I'd been craving it for a while. And then I did it, and then I realized I won't do it again for another couple of years. It was like eating fucking six pounds of wet sponges. But but the, to the, to the taste you crave, it's there. Give me about half a dozen double cheeseburgers and some fucking French fries, a couple of onion rings, maybe a fish. And I'm in there. And then boom, and that's it for a couple of years. That should be White Castle's logo. Once every six years, you're going to feel good for three minutes. Yeah. And then hate yourself. But let me go back to this article here. Under trademark law, ubiquitous terms cannot be owned by anyone, says Maggie Mettler, the legal director for Yum Brands, Taco Bell's parent company. Terms such as escalator, aspirin, and yo-yo became so common that their trademarks were canceled. Taco Bell is hoping for a similar result with the Taco Tuesday petition. This is not even describing a product. It's describing a marketing campaign. An escalator is a product. A yo-yo is a product. And like Kleenex, sometimes things become synonymous. Nobody says, oh, can I have a Puffs? Give me a Kleenex. Sometimes things become synonymous. But in this case, this is a marketing campaign. Taco Tuesday. We thought of it. We want people to eat our tacos on Tuesday. It's alliterative. We can put it on commercials. We're in business. Fuck all y'all. The fans can use it all they want, but Taco Bell go piss up a rope. For Taco John's, the buzz that the petition created is welcomed as a way for people to learn the story behind the trademark. There you go. Westrom said, here's a quote. We just really thank Taco Bell for reminding consumers that this is the place to celebrate Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's a great ending. Well, and and, and I, I don't know. I've never been to Taco John's. Uh, Taco Bell's given all those fast food taco places a bad name with me. But if Taco John's is a better taco than Taco Bell, then I'm especially on their side. And a chalupa. There's a chalupa there, too. I've heard that term. And it's the same thing. It's all... Everything from Taco Bell is something that looks like <laughs> fake cheese and a, a lot of sour cream and some wilted lettuce and some indeterminate meat, some of it with some type of indeterminate sauce, and there's some green things in there every once in a while. And it's wrapped up in bread and or tortillas and or corn tortillas and or flour tortillas and or more breading and carving. I'm sorry. I have a press release put out by Taco John's here. Ring the bell. Every day is Taco Tuesday at Taco John's. 
They've announced now every day will be Taco Tuesday, $2 for two regular crispy or soft shell tacos every day of the week, including Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so they're doubling down now there on this. There you go. A good old fashioned feud. Bill Watts would like this. We love you, Taco John. We stand with John. You don't know what it tastes like. It could be Should just Should it like... be Taco Juan? Well, if it was Juan, it could be. If it's well, just it's... some white guy named John, then it's Taco John's. Well, what do I want to eat Mexican food cooked by some fucking white guy for? Well, the problem is, if you've had authentic Mexican food, like you said, it's the greatest. And then you have something like Taco Bell, you realize it's not even in the same league. How many Taco Bells are actually freestanding as opposed to linked with a KFC or something now? Oh, tons. No, you see them everywhere. You need to get out more. When I was driving up and down the highways and byways, a Taco Bell is every fucking where. 